Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everyone. This is Javier Orozco. I am broadcasting live from the beautiful city of Monteria, Colombia. So just let me check out if this is working properly. Just hold on a second. Yeah, we are broadcasting live here. There we go. Okay. Just let, let me check. Just let me check. Okay. That is okay. Hold on a second. Right, here we go. Uh, now, the reason why we are here, it is because um, me, Javier Orozco, the one uh, who is talking to you at this time, I am going to talk about 12 reasons why many people fail in network marketing, okay? And this is very important to all of you who are watching this right now, just let me. Okay, now we are there, we are broadcasting live and these are the, uh, this, uh, this presentation, this short presentation is about the 12 reasons why many people fail in network marketing, okay? I, I want to tell you that there are many reasons why people tend to fail in network marketing, network marketing or MLM when they want to get involved into this industry. But I'm going to tell you why this happens and what could be uh, some of the solutions that you can have. Now, this is the reason number one, the low investment to get in inside uh, the companies as you know if you're already involved in network marketing you may know that some of the budget you may need to get into a company it is about 100 dollars up to 1000 dollars there is no more than that or you, you do not need to pay more than that in order to get involved into a network marketing company. As a matter of fact, if you decide to become a member or an independent distributor inside a company of network marketing, you may need to know that this low investment is a good thing and a bad thing simultaneously because uh, the, the lack of commitment be, uh, due to that low investment, it, it becomes something, uh, let's say, it is something like, uh, it is a, it's a disadvantage for anyone who wants to get involved inside this industry because that will Im implement a lack of commitment among the, the independent distributors. So the low investment to get in, it could be uh, our reason number one. Let's move on to reason number two. Let me remind you if these uh, things that we are sharing with you uh, resonate in your mind, please share this video with someone else so that they can also uh, watch this information Please, if you are watching this and you are just joining to this live broadcast, my name is Javier Orozco and I am broadcasting live from South America, Colombia. So the reason number two, the reason number two is poor partner selection criteria. What does it mean? When you are involved inside a network marketing company, 
and you have a poor partner selection criteria, it means that you want to sign up anyone you, uh, you just find in front of yourself, your family, your cousin, your uncle, your granddaughter, your grandmother, your neighbors, etc., and so on. So that means you have a poor criteria when selecting your partners or your associates, because in that way, you have to be really, really, really close, let's say really exclusive with the people you uh, want to choose for your team, because that will be the, the main reason your uh, check at the end of the month will grow and grow and grow. So you need to have a poor, uh, let's say a, a high level when selecting your partners. You need to know your real avatar, the people that, let's say, the best one you can work with so that your team can grow and it, it can duplicate as well. So this is the reason number two, why some people or many people fail when they get involved inside network marketing. Now let's move on to reason number three. There we go, no boss. So reason number three, number three means that when there is no boss involved, it means that you are, you are not like receiving orders from someone else uh, who is in front of you or who is behind you every single time during the day in order for you to accomplish some goals. And this could be also a disadvantage when you get involved inside network marketing. And this is because, this is mainly because when there is no boss inside this industry, you need so, so uh, let's say so much self-discipline in order to make it work for you. And as a matter of fact, if you are a, a person who likes to procrastinate, if you are a person who is not committed to himself or herself, that could be another reason why so many people fail in network marketing. So uh, when you are uh, moving from, the, uh, from being an employee to become an independent distributor, you need to know about this. The, um, the, no, the no boss thing or the, the no boss reason, it can become something is some kind of disadvantage for you. So you need to be careful with this. Uh, you need to have some self-discipline. I know, I know that not anyone, uh, not so many people like to have this self-discipline, me including in that, but we have to, we have to work harder in order to, to have this self-discipline, okay? So that was the reason number three. Let's move on to reason number four. The reason number four is a lot of shiny objects. What does it mean? Shiny objects is something that appears in front of your eyeballs in order to, to catch your attention and you lose some focus in, in the things that you are already doing. So you may find some other things that may get you distracted and you may lose some focus when you are inside your network marketing. So this can be another reason why so many people fail when they are involved in this industry. So the people uh, tend to find another opportunity, which is distracting this, this independent distributor. And that becomes another reason why people fail when they get involved inside this industry. And reason number five, low commissions per sale. What does it mean? Low commissions per sales mean that uh, uh, the, uh, the amount of payment or the amount of investment you make 
when you get inside this industry, the the commissions you can you may get are uh, really low because you are just earning a percentage of this of this uh, investment someone else is is making or or is doing. So this means that uh, you you need to work harder in order to increase the um, the amount that you are receiving in every check. So I need to tell you that uh, you need to work harder in order to scale your business. So do not focus on your first check. Do not tend to, to believe that your first check is going to be like that forever or that your commissions will be low forever. So you need to focus in order to increase the numbers, in order to increase the amount of earnings you are receiving inside the industry. Reason number five is the negative perception of this industry. And by that, I mean that there are some people around and in many ways, they have a negative perception about this industry, about the network marketing industry. They, they tend to say that it doesn't work. Uh, somebody says, I have, a, 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 I have an uncle who already get involved inside network marketing and he didn't work for himself. I have a friend of mine who was also involved inside a network marketing company and he didn't work for himself. So those cases are uh, let's say they are not like um, they are not like the the uh, the way that it going it going to be it, it is going to be for you as well. I mean, uh, if somebody didn't succeed inside the industry, it doesn't mean that you are going to uh, fail as well. So do not focus on that negative perception. Just focus on, uh, let's say, learning some skill sets, learning some habits, so so that it can like be your your strengths when you are building your team inside a network marketing company. So stay away from those negative perceptions that you can find around from the people around you, even in, inside your family they can get you a little bit confused about what you are, what you are getting into. So just uh, stay away from those negative perceptions and just learn the skill sets that you may need to um, work inside this industry. Reason number seven is the lack of commitment from distributors. So this lack of commitment mean that all, all uh, let's say, not everyone is going to get involved with a high level of commitment inside the industry. They are not going to work like the, uh, if there is no tomorrow or they are not be, they are not, they are not going to be uh, a pretty active distributor. So the lack of commitment, it, it, it becomes something uh, quite relevant because it, it tends to it tends to to be like uh, some kind of failing inside the the team because the, you know this is teamwork and we have to network so network it becomes uh, a teamwork and if you are not building a team inside the uh, the, the organization, so the people uh, above you or, or your sponsor is going to be like, well, uh, what is going on here? So this person is not building a team. And what, what is he doing? What is she doing? So the lack of, the lack of commitment from some distributors are the, the things that you may find 
And this is another reason why some people fail in network marketing and they decide to, uh, let's say, they, they decide to quit. So you need to find some people, uh, you need to find some, uh, a good team in order to work with them. Let's go to reason number eight. Reason number eight is um, the one, the famous, the bad companies, all those companies that appear at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year, and they tend to last like six months or one year from, and, 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 it, and it can be like uh, at the beginning, they are all hype. Uh, they are so good. They have a good comp plan, but at the end of the story, due to a, a lack of good management, due to some leaders inside the company, it, it tends to be and it tends to become a bad company for the distributors. So make yourself, make sure that you can find a, a really, really good company inside the network marketing industry because that will mean uh, a real good future for you in order to have uh, a good income inside this industry. So stay away from those bad companies. Now let's move on to reason number nine. Reason number nine is outdated training. There are some companies who may have a good comp plan, a good compensation plan, but uh, when they tend, they, when they want to train their independent distributors, they are using an outdated training. They are using trainings from the 70s, from the 80s, from the 90s. And if you take a look around, you may find that the world has changed so much. Uh, due to this crisis, this health crisis that we are living right now, this tend to, to like, uh, is putting in front of your eyeballs that you may need to find some skill sets, some new skill sets in order to work in, let's say, properly for your business. So you need, you need uh, a new way to do the business you need a new way to do the trainings because as you are already watching this video, we are using social media and there are some companies that were, were not so used to using social media. They, are, they were used to using just a belly to belly, uh, an eyeball to eyeball. Uh, so, this can be something really, really uh, outdated during these times because, you know, laws and regulations around the world uh, are not going to allow you to have a huge meeting inside a hotel or a stadium. So this is kind of uh, a disadvantage when some, some companies try to have some some kind of outdated trainings and there are some kind of, some other kinds of dated trainings that these companies may have but those are the main reasons why people tend to fail because they have not a specific training for the independent distributors let's move on to reason number 10 and it is selling products instead of selling benefits. And what I mean by that is that people tend to just focus on selling products. They tend to show into your face the products. They tend to show you the pictures. They send you text messages with the picture. They are inviting you to a Zoom call, showing you the, the products but they are not asking you um, about what could be the benefit this product can give you. So what I mean by that is um, inside network marketing, the product from the company 
is not important as yourself. You, the uh, independent distributor who is developing, who is uh, working on this company, you are the main product. You are the main asset inside the company. So you may, you may need to work on your skill sets in order to become the product, okay? You need to become the product. And apart from that, you are going to solve a problem for that person who is joining you inside the company. And that means that you need to know your, your associate, you need to know your, par your partner inside your team in order to give some benefits in order to, in order to solve a pain point for that person who is joining you inside the company. So focus on the benefits that, that the person is going to find when he or she is joining you. Let's move on to reason number 11. And it says confusing the niche with the message. And this is something really important because you need to just know what is the niche you need to work on, okay? If you are getting involved inside a network marketing company who has to do with cannabis, or if you are involving inside a network marketing company who has to do with technology, you need to know what is the avatar, what is the niche, the specific niche for that person you are going to look for or look around. Um, yes, the person you are going to look for in order for him or her to join you. So you need to know the person you are going to help with those benefits. And in that way, you will have a clear message to, to show to that person. For example, uh, creating some content, when you, need, when you are going to create some content, like, like the one you are watching right now, it gives you some kind of way of thinking about the people who is, uh, offering you to join to that company. So the message is important, but you need to know the specific niche in, in, in which you are going to work on, okay? And let's move on to reason number 12. The last one is reason number 12. It is ignore the five budgets. It is something really, really, really clear that you need to take into account. You need to bear in mind that there are five budgets you need to um, know when starting inside this industry. So the starting budget, training budget, um, growing budget, the uh, marketing budget, and the scaling budget. So there are five budgets you may need to know in order for this industry or for yourself. It is not just about investing one time and just doing a, a sitting in, in, inside, a, sitting with the gross arm and, and waiting for your paycheck. It is not about that. You need to work on your skill sets, you need to work on your marketing skills, you need to learn some skill sets, and in that way, you need to have a budget for, for creating some momentum for, for growing your team. And, and that means you have to give and give and give and give more at the beginning in order to receive and receive and receive later on during the years, during your, the, the way you are going to build your, your team. So that is something really, really important you need to focus on uh, to have those specific uh, budgets. You cannot ignore them. You need to train yourself. You need to uh, find a mentor 
that is going to help you to have that skill set you need to inside this industry. So those, those were the 12 reasons you may find inside the industry. And those are the 12 reasons why many people fail inside network marketing. I want to say thank you to all of you who have watched this video. Please, if you are watching this from Facebook, just click on the like button and, and just follow us and in, the, in our fan page. This is Javier Orozco. If you are watching this on Twitter, please just hit the, the follow button and retweet and, put, and place a fat in the, uh, in the video. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button, the red button. And also please just hit the, the bell in order for you to find this uh, kind of trainings uh, in the future. You, have, you are going to receive a notification when we are uh, giving some kind of value in the future. So I want to say thank you. Just remember, this is Javier Orozco, and we are going to be live once again uh, in the near future in a next live with Javier. Thank you so much. Have a great night. See you next time. Take care.